This is the photo editing tutorial for the drawn background. For this project I'm going to use a picture of my brother, however I'm going to use his friend Patrick as the main subject in my picture. To begin the project I'm going to open up AppleWorks, go to Applications and then AppleWorks 6, click on AppleWorks 6. going to choose basic and then painting. For this one I'm going to start drawing my background. I decided that I want it to be a rainy day so I need to draw uh, some clouds. I'm going to have a pond, um, some green areas, Right now I'm using the paintbrush tool to just draw some lines. To fill in an area, you need to click on the paint bucket. So right now I'm going to fill in the grass area green with that paint bucket. And in the middle I have a pond, so I'm going to choose a blue color and now fill it in with blue with the paint bucket. Let's draw some mountains and hills and we have a gray sky because it's raining out. You want to be careful when you use shapes because there is a inside of the color of a, of a color tool and the outside line color of an area tool and the default is always black. I had to change the color of the line so that it was gray to match the clouds. Now I'm going to add some ducks. Now that my painting is pretty much finished, I'm going to edit the picture of Patrick. Let's get this one out of the way. First I'm going to select some large areas that I'm not going to use with the dotted line box and, and erase those. After I can erase as many large areas as possible with the dotted line box, I'll use the eraser to erase around Patrick's silhouette. Remember when you make a mistake, you can always go to edit and undo, but it will only undo the very last thing you did. If you need to get in closer, always enlarge the image because the eraser will stay the same size. I'm almost done erasing Patrick. Now I want to move Patrick onto the main image. To do that, I'm going to click on the last cell, draw a big circle around Patrick, and move him over onto my background. Since I don't have all of his legs, I'm going to move him down to the bottom. And now because it's raining out, I want to add something in its hand like an umbrella. So for this I'm going to open up yet another new painting. File, new, painting. I 
I'm going to make the line color black and I'm going to use this tool to draw the handle of the umbrella. Now I want to make the main part of the umbrella. And remember again, you can always undo the very last thing you did by going to edit and undo. I think that the main handle is sort of out of balance so I'm going to move it over to the left a little bit. I want to fix that part where it overlaps and there that looks pretty good. Now let's move that over to Patrick's hand. You have to rotate it. Oh that's a little too much. To rotate you go to transform and then rotate and right now I'm doing free rotate. I want to get part of his hand on top of the umbrella so it looks like he's actually holding it so I'm going to copy his thumb and move that on top of right where it is now but it's covered by the umbrella. Now it looks like he's holding the umbrella. Now let's try to make a raindrop. This tool doesn't seem to be working very well to make a raindrop. Neither does that one. I guess I'll just try to freehand it. That worked out pretty good. Now I'm just going to keep dragging them over until I can fill up the whole page with raindrops. It looks like I didn't bring Patrick all the way down in the beginning. I'm going to have to put something there to fill up the space between the bottom of his legs and the bottom of the picture. I think I'm going to draw a rock wall. Alright, that looks pretty good. That fills in the bank area. Now let's save it. I'm going to file save as. I'm going to save it as Patrick underscore rain. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG to the desktop. And again, I'm going to save it as best quality. Now if I double click on the picture on the desktop, there we have Patrick with the umbrella.